I want to find the percent ionization of a 0.250 molar acetic acid solution. So how am I going to do that? Well, if you recall, remember a lot of times when we've done these approximations and we compare that to 5%, that's actually finding the percent ionization of a solution. So we're going to do exactly the same method, set up our rice table, and then solve Ka for x, and then compare that to 5%. So what we would compare, that's our answer. So let's get started. So we want to do the reaction. So the only thing I'm given is the acetic acid, so I'm going to start with that. And I always know that it's in a solution, so that means it's always in what? It's in water. And we know that it's at equilibrium, so I'm going to have to add a proton and take a proton away, so I'm going to get the hydronium ion. And then I'm going to take it away from the acid, and I'm just going to get the anion. So far, so good. So then what are my initial concentrations? Well, initially I had 0.250. We don't care about a liquid, and I didn't have any products. So for my change, I'm going to subtract x, and then I'm going to add what I make over here. I need to find it at equilibrium. So remember, I'm going to add straight down. So this becomes 0 0.250 minus x and just x and x. So I'm going to have Ka equals, now remember you need to get this number either from a table in your textbook or if you've done a number of these you know that, that it is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. It's kind of like some of those when you're doing naming it just kind of sticks with you. And then I've got x squared and since we're doing percent ionization I'm going to do the approximation. So instead of the 0 0.250 minus x I'm just going to do 0 0.250. So all I need to do is cross multiply and then solve for x. So I've got 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth times 0 0.250. Take the square root of that and that will equal to the square root of x squared. So I got 2.1213 2 times 10 to the minus third for x. So when I want to compare it, I need to take that number and I need to divide it by what? I need to divide it by the initial concentration, which in this case is 0 0.250, and then I'm going to multiply by 100, because remember we need it to be a percentage, and when I did that I got 0.84%.